To configure your network for Source Connect, you will need a static IP address and port forwarding rules for your router. You can tell that your network needs to be configured if you have the message Port Not Mapped under your receiving meter in the plugin window. Or on Source Connect Pro, you can look in the Settings panel next to the Connection Test button. To set your static IP address, go to the Apple menu and select System Preferences. Now select the Network button. Next, select Ethernet connection. Copy down the DNS server numbers and also the router number above it. Next, click on Configure and select Manually. For the IP address, you will use the first three numbers of your router number, and then a number between 2 and 99 that's not already in use. We'll use 99 here. You can enter the DNS numbers if they're not already there, and then hit Apply. Now open a web browser to verify that you're still connected to the internet. If you do not have an internet connection, check your DNS numbers. First try to use your router number for the DNS number. If that doesn't work, try these DNS numbers. Next, enter your router number into the address bar. You will be prompted for the administrator username and password. As a helpful tip, if you never set a password for your router, you can find the default password by searching your router's brand name and model number. In this tutorial, we will be configuring a Linksys router. If you have a different brand router, you can go to portforward.com routers. Once there, select your router brand and model number. Continue on to the next page. Then scroll and click the first link. This page will help you find the default username and password along with the port forwarding section of your router. Now we'll enter into the Linksys router. First go to the security tab and make sure block anonymous internet requests is disabled. Next, go to the Applications and Gaming tab. We will be working under the Port Forwarding section. Create a new rule with the application name Source. The start point will be 6000. The end point, 6002. The protocol is UDP, and the IP address is the same as the IP address you assigned to your computer in the first step, in our case, 99. Make sure to both enable the rule and save the settings at the bottom of the page. It is also recommended to disable UPnP. When you restart your Source Connect plugin, you will now see the message Port Open and you will be able to more predictably and more quickly establish a connection with other Source Connect users.